So to answer this question, we're going to use the fact that the angular momentum of this system stays constant. So um, our system here is again the wheel, the person, and the platform. And since the angular momentum of the system doesn't change, we can say that the magnitude of the initial angular momentum is equal to the magnitude of the final angular, angular momentum. But what's really important here is that the directions are also the same. So if we look at the initial angular momentum of the system, just its direction, the wheel starts off counterclockwise, the person has zero angular momentum, and the platform has zero angular momentum. But once we flip the wheel over in our final state, the wheel has counterclockwise angular momentum, because when you flip it over, you've changed the direction of its angular momentum vector. And so now the question is, what will the person and the platform have to do to compensate? So uh, since I can't uh, do this demo for you at home without probably following, falling off my chair, um, I'm going to show you a video from MIT and I'll put the link to this video in the slides. So we have this person who's holding a bicycle wheel and standing on a platform just like we described. And this wheel is actually spinning clockwise as viewed from above. So when the person flips the wheel over, Let's see what happens to them. They immediately start spinning and they also start spinning clockwise as viewed from above. Um, that's because we need the total angular momentum to be clockwise because the direction can't change. And uh, we made the, the angular momentum of the wheel counterclockwise. So something had to compensate and that's the person and the platform. Now what's gonna happen when they switch it back to its original, original configuration? You might think, oh, we'll have to rotate the other way, um, but that's actually not true. What happens is that the person stops because if angular momentum has to stay constant, we have to get back to our original state. So now that we have uh, the wheel having all of the angular momentum spinning clockwise again, the person and the platform have to stop. So um, the correct answer to this question was in fact B that you will rotate clockwise. And here's the link if you want to watch the video in full with sound um, with their explanation. So um, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the discussion Q&A.